Hello, fellow educators and students. Today's tutorial is going to be on the student side of using Smart Music. Smart Music is a wonderful program that allows you to pull up band music, method books, all sorts of different examples, and it will display the music on the screen. You can record yourself playing along with the example. You can just read the music and just play along with it. You can submit assignments. You can do all sorts of things with it. It's a really, really wonderful resource. Um, so to get started, if you're a student, this is how it's going to look from your point of view. So you will go to smartmusic.com. Over here on the top right, you'll click Login. Right now they offer two different options, a new Smart Music and the classic Smart Music. You want to go in under the new Smart Music because the classic one is going to be gone at a certain point in time in the near future. So click on new Smart Music. Now you'll see a login box. Once you create your initial account, you'll actually be able to just log in through that. But for the first time, you want to click I'm a student, join a class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a test email account. So you would normally put in your own email account. And there's a class code that your teacher will supply to you. I already have it copy and pasted. So I'll paste that class code in. And you'll see that it says that you're joining the junior senior high school band with Mr. Metzler. So as long as it's showing the class you are wanting to join, you click join this class. So what it's going to do is it's going to have you quickly go through and create an account. So you're going to just tell it United States of America or whatever country you reside in. If you're at least 13 years or older, put in your first name and put in your last name. It's already got your email. You can put up a backup recovery email if you would like. I'm going to create a test username. I'm going to put in just a default password I tend to use, but this is where you'll want to put in your own password. Then you can select your primary instrument. So for me, I'm a trumpet player, so I'm going to select trumpet. If you play a secondary instrument, you can also choose a secondary instrument, but once you get into the program, it really doesn't matter. If you play multiple instruments, you can easily switch around between the instruments. So tick the box, I have read and agree. If you don't want to receive any emails, you can untick that, or you can leave it checked if you would like. Then click Submit. It's going to send you an activation email. So I've received my confirmation email from Smart Music. So you can go into that and you'll see this orange confirm your email button. You'll click on that and it'll tell you that your account has been confirmed. You can put in your username or you can put in your email address that you use to create the account. I'm going to put in just my username and then I'm going to pop in my password and then I'll click log in. So once you log in you'll be taken to your portal page this is where you can change all of your account information. You can set up a backup email if you want, change your email address, you can change your password, change your instrument, your secondary instrument. And if you would like to stop receiving those lovely communications from Smart Music, you can turn it off. Or if you really would like to hear what they've got to say, you can flip that back on. The big spot I want you to go is over in the top right, you'll see this waffle iron looking icon. Click on that and you'll see a few different options here. The first I'm going to want you to click on is Home. Your teacher has the ability to assign assignments through Smart Music. They can assign band pieces, method books, all sorts of different things, and there can be different parts to that assignment. So if you have an assignment, you can actually click on it and go right to that assignment. The main feature I'm going to show within this is the Find Music. So you can either do it by going to Assignments and then you'll see Find Music here on the right. Or if you click on that waffle iron icon in the top right, you'll see that search button that says Find Music. So on the Find Music screen, you can just type in a song. So the junior high band in my district and the high school band is currently playing a song called Above and Beyond. So I'm going to put that in and hit Enter. And you'll see the song is in their system, so it shows up here that I can click on it. Now I'll say they don't have every song available, 
but a good portion of the music that you're going to be playing in your school band or your method books are available in Smart Music. So I will click on the Open. Since I selected Trumpet in my profile, it's going to default to that. Now a lot of songs have a first trumpet, second trumpet, third trumpet, first flute, second flute, and so on. You can actually select the part that you're playing. So I'm going to choose first B-flat trumpet, and I'm going to tell it to open. Now I'm not going to tell it to allow my mic, but if you're going to record into it, you want to tell it to allow your mic. And once I'm into the song, you'll actually see your music on the screen. And you can actually scroll through your entire part. And then you can choose the volume. It can play your part, so you can choose the volume of it playing your part. Or you can tell it to mute. You'll see there's the little X there, so that means when the recording plays, my part will be muted. You can set a metronome to it and how loud the metronome is. You can choose how loud the accompaniment is because when I hit play, it will play all the other instruments. So when you play along with it, it's just like you're playing along in band. And you can actually record your part into that and you can listen to yourself back and how you sound with the band. So it's a lot of fun. Um, you can change the tempo, how fast or slow it is. So if your director likes to go really fast like some directors like to do, you can up that tempo and make it faster. Or if there's a spot or if you're practicing through a difficult section, you can slow the tempo way down and start from that part. It'll do a count off for you. You can choose if there's a piece that has different movements. You can choose the movement. If your mic is connected, I told it no, but you'll see the tuning note there, so you can actually tune your instrument. You'll see here is the play button. When I push that, it will start the countdown to begin the playing the example of the song that you have selected. If I choose record, it'll actually record me through the microphone. And then you can save multiple takes. So if you want to do it multiple times, especially if you're submitting it for an assignment, you can do multiple takes of the recording and then submit the one you want. If there's an assessment that goes along with it, you'll find everything there. And you can change how it displays. You can also, over here on the right-hand side, change your zoom. You can go full screen. Get back out of full screen. And then when you're all set and done, you can click the little waffle iron icon again, and you can go find music. So another example I'm going to show is the method book we use in our elementary school. Oh, just happened to pop up here. We use Sound Innovations. So you'll see they have two options here. And if I click that little down arrow, it will show me all the information in regards to the Sound Innovations. Gives you all the information about the book. So if you just aren't sure if there's a couple different things to it, you can make sure you have the right thing selected. So I'm gonna tell it to do trumpet. Now for movement, in the beginner method books, or any of the method books, a movement would be the song number. That's what they're doing in this. So for example, let's say we wanted to look at the three note combo. We can tell it to open that up. Again, it's asking for my mic. Once you hit allow, it won't keep asking you. And you'll see here, if you have your actual method book that's sound innovations, and you go to the song three note combo, you'll see it looks exactly the same. The thing that makes this really fun is it will play a piano accompaniment with it. So it gives, makes it a little more interesting when you're playing. Due to copyright, I don't want to actually hit play because I want to make sure this video stays online for everybody to watch. So that is how smart music works. And this is just the very bare bones basics of it, just how to get in and move around. So I encourage you, if you have access to it, go in and have fun. You will see there's all sorts of different types of music, different compositions, different publishers, categories. You can even do choir. There's exercises, all sort improvisation, just a ton of stuff you can choose from. During this time right now, this is a great and wonderful resource that Smart Music has been providing for free. Don't forget to check out my site at adamontech.com where you can submit suggestions or follow-up questions to these video tutorials. While there, you can also read my writings that explore a number of topics in greater detail. You can also leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter at twitter.com slash adamontech. Don't forget to hit that like button below, and while you're doing that, also take a moment to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my latest tutorials. So until next time, this is Adam on Tech signing off.